In the previous video, we have created one first shape uh, as a rectangle with the help of uh, this custom code. And now in this video, we are going to see how we can create a bar chart. So something which is more meaningful now in terms of the visuals which are available in the Power BI. So we are going to see how we can create a bar chart in this. First, first of all, let's try to delete this code. I don't need this right now and we'll just remove this as well. And we need uh, we need this SVG element because this is something which is uh, HTML related. We can say means it's not specific to Power BI and it is available in the web development as well. So SVG element we need. So we will keep that uh, as uh, we needed it. Now as first step is we wanted to create a bar bar chart so for that there is one um, attribute we need which is bar container we can give the name as bar container and in in the selection we can say as a selection as you can just uh, mention the svg element and we'll mention this any so we are going to use this bar container uh, properties or attribute uh, to create our next uh, things uh, in this now what we are going to do is we are just going to use this uh, bar container uh, is uh, equal to we will just mention as this dot svg dot append and in the bracket we are going to just mention g which is nothing but a group uh, so it is just a group of the bar uh, which we wanted to create so that's why means we are going to use this now now something which is uh, uh, this is we have created this uh, element as a bar container and now what we have wanted to do is we wanted to have uh, something which is uh, a, a data which can be helpful to repre represent on the uh, bar so for that we will just create some dummy data so here we will just try to create one constant variable i i'll just give the name to as a test data and you can say this is uh, we can specify in the that is our array of the data where we can specify multiple values in this array so let's try to do that. Uh, so first value we'll, we can give as value is equal to 10 and uh, we can specify the category as well, say India. So we can just mention that this is something which is more uh, related to the uh, sales data and we will just try to uh, create this data for something more. We'll just try to change this value so, to uh, something different. Now I have just added this uh, test data and then we will try to add that in the update me method. Now something which is we need to have this update update method which will just update our visuals uh, so that what we can do is we can just create something which is um, we are going to create. So let's try to add some code in this update method where I, I'm going to add this uh, as first thing, thing then we can select this bar container and in this we can just select all. So this is one uh, method we can select means what are the data which is available means we wanted to uh, select it and then in the bracket we will just mention as bar uh, so this is something which is we wanted to specify as a bar element and what type of data we wanted to add it so let's try to add this data uh, in in the in this which is nothing but this data and we will just mention uh, this is something which is we have created now means where we have just we are just trying to create one bar container which is nothing but this is selection svg element this is something which we can write and I'm just wanted to specify this in bars as a variable. So we can select this as bars is equal to this dot bar container dot select it means all the bars for the data which is we wanted to select. Now basically what we wanted to have it is we wanted to specify the actual values and its data. Now what we can do that we do have this bars dot then we do uh, specify the enter. So this is something which is whatever the value which has uh, selected here from this uh, test data is coming in this and we are going to enter into the into the chart. So for that we go, we are going to use this append function and we are going to use append a rectangle means whatever the bars which we wanted to display which we can do that as a bar a rectangle only so that we can have the bars created now there is one properties which we wanted to use which is nothing but a class and so this is something which is we are going to use uh, as a method means uh, to just to get get the data entered in the bar chart so this is something which is uh, we are going to specify and we are going to specify as bar and we wanted to specify that is true as well because this needs uh, two, two parameters and now we are going to at, add some uh, attribute which is um, height and width as well for that so for that we will just try uh, try to specify width first so let's say 50 
and again we are going to specify the attribute as well now for the height and for this we can just mention a few six so this is something which is we have written now here and we'll just try to save this and we'll go back to our application in power bi and we'll see how it, this is reflecting let's try to re refresh this now you can see this is just showing as one block uh, which is a bar you can say means this is how we can create because what happened in this code we have just written one line means where we are just going to say that though we have specified uh, test data with the different different four values and we are expecting four different uh, block in the bar chart But however, it is not happening at the moment because we have just written here one uh, Line which is showing that uh, to have the multiple blocks We need to write something some different code means where in this and uh, so that whatever the value which is we have given here Whatever the value which is entered here It, it is taken as just a single value and that's why I means but we need a four different columns uh, in the bar chart So that is something which is wanted to do and that we will uh, see 